I think you got under his skin on that one a little bit, don't you think? No. <laughs> I love this. Now you're in. Oh. Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. Oh, who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. Oh, who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, board-certified criminal defense lawyer. And what does that mean, board-certified? Well, it means I've taken two exams. I've had a lot of trials. I've had four judges, four prosecutors, and four defense lawyers all vouch for my credentials. I have had so many cross-examinations of experts. I have supplied a writing sample. It means, it means I've displayed a proficiency in distinction in the area of criminal trial law. But I also do some civil stuff, and that's what we're gonna talk about, a, what a civil trial is, and, and but this is gonna be kind of funny, actually, when you watch this. But before we get to that, first of all, the guy behind the camera is one of the most handsome guys I've ever seen in my life. His name is Michael Rivers. He is our content genius and responsible for everything that comes out of my mouth. It's not scripted, but I know if I say the wrong thing, I'll get a, a glare from him, so then I have to modify my behavior. So he's the boss, applesauce. Anyway, but this is also brought to you by ContractsCouncil.com. It's an effective way to get a contract written by a very qualified lawyer. So if you need a contract written, go to ContractsCouncil.com. And if you're a lawyer, we need you. We need it. We have a lot of clients and we need some more, more blood behind the uh, work. So we need more lawyers. So if you're a lawyer, and I know some of my fans are lawyers because like, I get a lot of comments from lawyers, uh, go to ContractsCouncil.com. You can do as much or as little work from home as you want. It, and you know they're a solid outfit because they're connected to eSign.com. So go to ContractsCouncil.com. Whether you're a client or a lawyer, it's a great place to go to get some good work done for some good people. ContractsCouncil.com. Okay, so Mike Lindell, the lumpy pillow dude. This is so hilarious. He has a company, MyPillow. He's the MyPillow guy, right? And it's made up a bunch of pieces of whatever that, you know, probably whatever, whatever they may come out of this little foam material. Well, you know, he decided that it would be a good business move to get full into this conspiracy about the election in 2020, right? So he went around and he started spewing all this kind of stuff about the Dominion voting and, and their rigged election and all this other stuff. Well, and Fox did the same thing. And Fox News, they wound up settling for like $780 million. That's right, seven hundred, almost a, three quarters of a billion dollars. That's a lot of cash. So what Mike Lindell has done is now he's, you gotta be careful when you go out and you spew bullshit. Because the more bullshit you spew, if somebody, if, and it hurts somebody, they're gonna, and they sue you. That's so. That's what Dominion has done. They've sued him for defamation, among other things. So one of the things that you do when you invite a lawsuit is you are now subject to the jurisdiction of that lawsuit, which means they can do three things. They can send you interrogatories, which are written questions uh, that you have to answer. They can send you requests for the production of documents, which you have to produce. And you like, and if you don't, if you just ignore the discovery process altogether, you're going to get defaulted. And that's what happened to Rudy Giuliani in his defamation suit. The reason why we're even talking about this is one of the other things they can do is they can make you sit for a deposition. You can sit down and ask you questions. And sometimes they get really contentious. Okay, and I'm not asking about the lumpy pillow calls. Uh, no, they're not lumpy pillows. That they're not lumpy pillows. So I, I, I purchased a couple. Of, it wasn't a fan, but who cares? You know, I mean, some people like him, some people don't. But he just actually went ape shit. It's not what they call on, okay? That when you say lumpy pillows, now you're an asshole. You know? <laughs> I love this. Now you're an asshole. That you're an asshole like is what you are. Like no, that. he's an asshole. No, he's an ambulance chasing asshole. That's what you are. Lumpy pillows, kiss my ass. <laughs> kiss my lumpy ass. <laughs> I think that is so hilarious. You know, and his lawyer's right next to him. You know, he's not making himself any friends in the courtroom. Here's the other thing. If you refuse to answer the questions, and sometimes you can have legitimate objections, like uh, attorney-client privilege, or it's beyond the scope, or whatever. So you, you can legitimately refuse to answer some questions. 
But if you choose not to answer questions, guess what? Well, then the other side will file a motion to compel. Then they put it before the judge, and the judge will say, you have to answer these, or you don't have to answer them. One of the, if he says you have to answer them, guess what? Then, then they go after costs, because if you force somebody to file a motion to compel, they can seek costs for having to do that. Put that in your book. No, they, they answer anything, any problem customer that wants to reach Mike Lindell. Those are the ones. I want to talk to Mike Lindell. I want to talk to Mike Lindell. They send them to here and they go, or they call about. Now, here's here's the other part of this. Uh, I do feel a little bit sorry for him because I think he he's delusional and, and his business is going down the shitter. And he challenged somebody. He put an offer out there. If you can prove my claims are false, I'll give you $5 million. And somebody took him up on it. And guess what? He got a judgment against Mike Lindell for $5 million. Um, maybe they didn't get their pillow on time because of uh, um, the FedEx or whatever. But we'll cover them even though it could be somebody else's fault. Nobody called because of a lumpy pillow. I think he got under his skin on that one a little bit, don't you think? But good, good one though. You done? Yeah, I'm done. What I'm saying. Obviously, is, you don't have a my pillow too. You don't, do you? What I'm saying is, Mr. Lindell. Asshole. I, but go ahead. No, I'm pissed. He's supposed to be a man of God. If you can see, he's got his his crucifix so prominently displayed outside of his shirt. And uh, I wonder how that fits within his Christian religion. I understand. Now, yeah, go. When you're saying what? Tell us your full name, please. Michael James Lindell. Well, good morning, Mr. Lindell. My name is Charlie Kane. We met for the first time. About Who's paying you? So, <laughs> he's, he, he doesn't want to be there. He doesn't want to be there, and he doesn't want to answer any questions. You know, and it's not comfortable, honestly. It's not comfortable sitting for a fucking deposition. But one of the things you do in a deposition, at least at the beginning, you don't know if the person has been through one of these before or not. So you let the you set the ground rules. You know, I'm going to be asking questions. A reporter is going to be taking uh, down you know, everything we say. Your lawyer is free to object. Blah blah blah. About four minutes ago. Okay. Go. On. Is that right? What's it? Is that right? Is what, what was the question? We met for the first time. Yes. Yes. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start slow because the court reporter is trying to take down what you're saying, okay? Don't sit and scold me already, mister. I'll do, I'll do whatever I have to do. So I don't, you're, not, you're just a lawyer. You're an ambulance chasing lawyer. So don't start with me. I got all day. I'll take as much time as you want. So let's go. He's unhinged. It, just doesn't, it doesn't help him to do this. You're not my boss, you're just a lawyer, frivolous lawyer. So go. Don't start you know scolding this... me. And I didn't think he was scolding him. He was just basically saying, this is how it's going to work. And that, that they say that in, at the beginning of every deposition. Well, I'm asking questions. I'm not mm -hmm. going to scold you. Go ahead. So let me finish my question, okay? Yes. I tend to be a slow talker. Good for you. I'm from Texas originally. Good for you. I got all day. We'll still, we'll make a week of this. How about that? Go ahead. Probably up to your lawyer, but I'm happy to stay as long as you'd like. Just keep going. All right. Why'd you call me an ambulance chaser? What? Why did you call? That, I mean, why would you even ask that question? You know, it, it's probably, maybe he, Lindell got under his skin a little bit. You call me an ambulance chaser. Because you are. This is a frivolous case, and if you're representing this guy and you've read this case, you are a disgusting lawyer. Period. There's my that's my that's my right to say. You want to people hate lawyers though. People hate being sued and they don't like lawyers. And I don't think Mike Lindell is any different. To me too, Mr. Ambulance Chaser. Are you working on contingency or consignment with the guy? What do you no, I can't believe anybody would take this. This is absolutely disgusting. It's a disgrace to our country. It's a disgrace to you. Anything else? No, that's it. You asked me the question. I answered it. All right. I said objection, non-responsive. Let me... Well, you know, let me objection, non-responsive. What that means is I ask you a question, um, and I say, well, what color was the sky on that day? And you say, a Pontiac Fiero. 
Well, that would be – doesn't mean anything. I mean, it's like, okay, you didn't answer – your answer doesn't fit the question. That's what, he's, that's what it means to be non-responsive. Let me explain a few more things to you. <laughs> what? Let me explain a few more things to you. Mm -hmm. Have you given a deposition before like this? I've given a ton of depositions. Okay, so you, you understand the process somewhat. Mm -hmm. Sure do. Okay. When I ask you a question, you need to do your best to respond only to my question. Are you going to arrest me? I'll you say whatever I want, and if we have extra, that's do that. There's no rule that says I can't give a full answer. So I'm, not, you know, I'm telling you the rules. Have you ever been in a deposition where they can't stand who you are? <laughs> Doesn't help his cause, but he's he's pushing back, you know, and like somehow this makes him feel better inside. Makes his pillow a, a little bit less lumpy, I, I guess. Have you? A lot more than you, sir. Okay, good. Keep going. All right. Don't tell me about my depositions. You're not my boss. You're just some frivolous lawyer in here, and you put, bring in this frivolous case to me. And especially against a company that had nothing to do with anything. Right. You're disgusting. Keep going. I want you to understand another thing. What's that? This case is pending in federal court I don't in Colorado. care. What does that have to do with anything? Do you understand that? Yes. All right. Um, there's a federal judge that's going to likely be reading and watching this deposition. Do I don't you care. you understand that? I don't care. She should have dismissed this a long time ago. She's, she hasn't ruled on that. There's a problem. I got a problem with her, too. Okay. So when you hear the disdain he has for the judge for not dismissing his lawsuit, you know, you don't really show disrespect to a district court judge in the federal system. I'm telling you, they, they can stop a president from doing things. And you get contemptuous – they can screw with you. And all of a sudden you get a $10,000 fine like that for sanctions. The judge has practice standards on how... No, the judge did not dismiss this case. We put in to get it dismissed. And she ruled an unfair ruling saying, well, go ahead and do discovery and waste all your time while I'm sitting there not doing nothing. That's what that judge is doing. So don't tell me what the judge is doing. And you just let me worry about the judge reading this, okay? He is so fucking pissed off. Uh, I just, I, here's what you do. When, when you get a guy like this, the more pissed off you get, or they get, the calmer you get. You know, you can hear this guy's tone. He's, he's not raising his voice. He's keeping it low. And he's just keeping it like this. And that's the way you handle somebody like this. I just want you to understand that. No, you, 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 don't, you just don't worry about me. You're not out for my benefit, okay? He can, he's out for my benefit, not you. So you can, don't worry if I say something that offends the judge, okay? You just let me worry about that. You got that? Yeah, I got it. Okay, good. Keep going. The reason I bring that up, sir, is if the judge is not pleased with your conduct in this deposition, there may be penalties. Oh. And, and that is a good admonishment because, you know, if you, you got, he's, the lawyer's trying to take a little bit of control. You know, so look, if you don't answer these questions, you don't conduct yourself in, comp in accordance with the rules, I'm going to be forced to go avail myself of remedies from the, the judge in either a motion to compel or whatever. And the judge can then penalize Lindell's side if need be. Okay, good. You tell her that you go ahead. And you, you thank you for your worrying about old Mike. You're, you're really, it's great. It you're seems welcome. like you bring a frivolous case up. You really have my back. Go ahead. Keep going. That judge, you put this in the record, that judge, it's a big problem I got. If someone didn't have the money or time to sit through this garbage, when I put into her summary judgment last summer and she hasn't ruled on it, either say yay or nay. It's disgusting. It's disgusting to our country that she couldn't make a ruling. Go, go ahead and do deposition. If it was some guy that didn't have money, you would put them under just in this garbage. Wasting my day. Wasting my time. But think if it was someone on the street. Don't you care about people? This is disgusting. This judge should have ruled a long time ago that you're yay or nay, frivolous or not. But she didn't. She said, go ahead and do discovery. Why well, sit and decide what I'm going to do? That's disgusting. I got no problem with you on that. I got a problem with the judge not making a ruling. So there. Now go ahead. Now that the judge has that on record. Now you don't have to worry. This guy's going to have a fucking heart attack.
worry about what me and the judge think of each other. All right? Objection, non-responsive. Here's, here's another thing that I'd need you to know, Mr. Lindell. If the court determines that you're not being responsive or acting in good faith today, we may have to come back and do this some more. And I want you to understand that. Oh, I got that. All right. And if that's the case, I will be asking for attorney's fees and costs for oh, you us will, to huh? do it. I'm again. already asking for them. I might just come after you guys for the most frivolous case ever when this is done. If there's a way to sue you, believe me, I'm doing it. Okay. <laughs> This kind of attitude, even though it's super unpleasant, it just doesn't help him at all. Okay, just so you know that, beyond anything you've ever seen. So be prepared. I'm committed to being polite and professional. Okay, today. go ahead. We're all getting right. through that. Now you know where I sit. Let's get on with it. Okay. Um, in other words, if Joe VP Box Guy says, you know what, Mr. Lindell, you shouldn't be out there talking about this um, and also selling this product at the same time. Maybe people could get confused. What do you mean selling that? this product at the same time? I object to that dumb answer. What are you talking about? Well, first, I didn't go out there, melt down our machines and buy a pillow. I mean, that, what, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't even know what that I don't even know what that means. But the issue here is you've you've got a you know a voting company and, and the integrity of an election that was called into question by Trump right and and Trump I think litigated 62 cases or something like that and they lost every single one except for maybe one and Fox News really put themselves out there in terms of the Dominion voting and saying that that they were faulty and they were and and seven hundred eighty million dollars is nothing to sneeze at so in the lawsuits with trump they all lost on standing so they never really got to the meat of anything because nobody had standing in order to have standing you have to have a specific stake in the outcome in other words you have to be a right plaintiff so for example if two people get into a car accident and i sue one of the guys but i wasn't involved i don't have standing because i wasn't involved i wasn't impacted and and they did they just didn't have any evidence of any any voter fraud and 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 this isn't this whole thing isn't about Trump at all it, this is more about whether it was Lindell or Fox defaming the Dominion Company because they didn't do anything to anybody and and they were really raked through the mud anything I do that's the way that because I'm so branded it's like you know you're branded as a frivolous lawyer anything you do well you'll be branded as that because that's all I know about you right now. So go. I mean, you know, I don't know what you're saying. You're trying to associate that anything I say becomes part of my pillow. That's not true. And what he's talking about there is they're bringing my pillow, the company, into the lawsuit. Hope you get all that. I'm not sure, Mike. Non responsive. No, but it's disgusting when you so, sit here. So I'm branded as now Mike. election, not my pillow guy. It's Mike. the opposite. Mike, we just got to slow it down. I know, but it just That's, pisses me I, off. I understand. They understand. It's so disgusting. You don't remember my question, do you? Yeah, the question is, do people know you as the My Pillow guy, blah, blah, blah. I just gave my answer. No, they know me over here as this, the, this guy that's trying to save our country. Yeah, thanks, Mike. But get off our side. Because of lawfare and start dirty things that Eric Coomer did on that one day, which that's when I called him out, I can't go on my stage. I can't. My company has been hurt so bad because of people like this Eric Goomer. Let's talk about his company for a second. You know, let's just talk about Elvis for a second. I know, big segue there, right? Well, what Elvis did, you know, he felt he, he didn't let his political leanings, I think he was mostly Republican, but he didn't let that be known. He didn't really openly talk about his politics. Uh, why not? Well, because if he went overboard on a political speech, he's going to alienate half the people in the country. And if he does that, that's, that's more people that won't buy his albums, right? Well, in this case, Mike Lindell had a really, and he's from Minnesota, he had a very successful company. And by doing what he's done, so many retailers have pulled out. They, he's, he's really put himself in harm's way. And for nothing for nothing, for this 
conspiracy about the election, whether we believe it or not, he's alienated a shit ton of people and his business has gone south because of it. This in tens of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars. You don't remember my question, do you? <laughs> Page 36, where you, where I called you lawyers just as bad as him, I called you guys criminals. You did? He doesn't help. To, I mean, he, you should just sit down, zip in, zip out, give the shortest answers possible. It, it is just, all you're doing is just feeding the machine. What Mike Lindell is doing, and I know the reason why he's showing you all these clips is showing you how obstinate he is and, and how uncooperative he is. And, and you can you can feel his um, frustration and his anger and and you know nobody likes to be sued and nobody likes to have their deposition taken honestly, but by acting this way, he's just inviting more legal fees, more fighting. You know he doesn't have to cave in on every answer, but he certainly doesn't have to go off and off and off and then being non-responsive. My heart goes out to him to be quite frank with you. He, he's bought into this conspiracy business. He's gone whole hog into this and he had a whole plan in place and he he's supposed to, you know, show how this is the election was rigged and nobody's been able to do that oddly enough. But as a result as a result his, his business is just tanking. I mean, he's selling equipment and he's just and it's just sad. It is sad. It 100% it is sad. But this is just, you know, what he's going through. And really, when you, it comes down to it, 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 he's destroyed his business by pursuing what he thought was a noble cause. So it doesn't matter how smart you are. You know, it just goes to show you somebody that's really successful can destroy their brand, can destroy everything they've built up by making stupid, stupid moves. So we'll continue to follow this lawsuit. And uh, we'll see where it goes. But there's a reason that Fox settled, you know, because they saw the writing on the wall. And they, I think they had a lot more, a lot of direct information. The lawyers for Dominion are no slouches. So we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers. Make sure you subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. Sign up for Patreon. We'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm part of Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. 23 hour lockdown, please is that my god.